Hey everybody, Matthew Fulton with Parkway Business Solutions and during today's video, I thought we would do a unboxing, if you will, of an application called Financial Sense. Now, Financial Sense has been gaining a lot of traction within the accounting industry uh, with a lot of friends that I know raving about this thing and I haven't had a chance to take a look at it to do a demo or anything else. So I thought, why don't I sign up? We'll do a trial and I'm gonna record the process. We'll do a quick little video to get you my, my initial reactions to it. So join us as we do an unboxing of Financial Sense. All right, as we get started here, I've, what I've basically done is I've already logged in and set up the account, but just got popped right in. So you're seeing this brand new fresh with me as well. So we're gonna go through, I'm gonna click on buttons, just take a look at what I see right off the bat and give you kind of my blind uh, opinion of it within 15 minutes max. So as we're looking right off the bat, we can see we've got our traditional pop-up type stuff. Usually I don't read the instructions, so I always push that stuff away. Uh, create your first project, we're gonna click away. User flow is pretty cool, cool. I've actually used that myself. So things I always wanna look at first before I'm looking at projects, I'm gonna go straight to my settings right away. And for my settings, I want to see what kind of functionality, what kind of integrations I can do. Uh, we can see, of course, change photo, so I can put a fancy photo there, multi-factor authentication. I think that's great, especially when we're dealing with financials. Uh, your basic details, password notifications. Of course, your company details. You're going to have your billing information, which we're going to bypass for now. But um, so we can see $23 uh, US per user, basically. Um, or month that's annual monthly is 29. Now let's go to integrations real quick here and let's go welcome to integrations. We'll go plus and we can see we can connect either QuickBooks or Zero. It makes good sense. I'm a QuickBooks fan. Zero is cool, but I definitely like my QuickBooks. So we'll come in through the normal process here. Do, 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 fill those in. And this is a pretty standard process of connecting something. So we'll get this populated here. Okay, so we get our pop-up here, gives us the chance to connect. We'll do my, let's see here, boom, boom, boom. Go to my advanced company file. And we'll connect. Making sure we've got authorization. We do that part, of course. Okay, so now we've connected to a QuickBooks online company file. Um, and this is so import clients from QB Community Live. So now what I did here is I went directly to a client's file. I didn't actually go to like an accountant's file where I would then have my different clients there. Um, again, we're kind of doing this. If we break it, we break it. That's fine. So we're going to import. So it's going through the process, importing clients, link employees, upload past time logs to QuickBooks, and import and auto sync past time logs from QuickBooks. That's really interesting. Um, I do have time logs set up in this one. I haven't actually done payroll, but I do have some employees also. Um, so let's see here. I think I have to click on each of these. There we go. Ah, uh, there, okay. So we would have to set up the different people. We'll do just me for the moment and we'll go done. Now let's go upload past time logs. Uh, we're gonna hit cancel because I don't want to, here I'd be sending two QuickBooks if anything I want to pull them in from anything else. So we'll do this import. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm doing this very blindly. I would not recommend going about it this way. You should slow down a little bit and make sure you've got things set up the way you would need. So we've gone through basics there. We can see we've got tutorial videos. Let's go over to workflows at this point because that should just kind of be working in the background at the moment. Actually, we'll go to clients first. We can now see our list of clients. Uh, click plus to import your clients in seconds, which we just did that fortunately. Um, so we can either do an import from QuickBooks Online, a spreadsheet, or manually enter them. We'll hit close since we have them all. And let's go close the guide. That looks beautiful. Nice stuff. A lot of pop-ups. I kind of would like a little bit less of that, but it's probably just because I'm getting started. Um, so let's go to one of our clients. And this is what our dashboard is looking like. So 
We've got all of our information off to the side here, any projects that are opened, integration that's showing us their activity feed. So client vault, what do we have here? You can store sensitive information such as usernames and passwords. We automatically encrypt your data. So let's do add something. Interesting. So username, password, URL, that's great. Um, Okay, so certain you know institutions, you have a third column. It looks like you can add that stuff on. So it's kind of doing like a last pass aspect of it. Documents, you can upload different docs, search by them, as we can see. Uh, notes back and forth, of course. And then let's take a look with actions. We can edit client. Let's see what that looks like. So just kind of a name, that's basic. Client attitude, that's interesting. Um, so now, I mean, we've got some basic stuff here. Let's just go hello, and we'll go post. Let's do contact date. So you're putting notes, attitude. Okay. Uh, Linda is happy. Post activity. Boom. So now we got happy activity there. That's interesting. Time tracking. So you could put the time in. We'll go two hours. Billing rate 125, pay me please, and post activity. And then billing, okay, so add billing record, manage recurring records. Um, so we can see we've got all of the different activity at the bottom here, uh, billing, billable amount. So let's see here, I'm, I'm wondering if it's gonna give me the ability for the time tracking, did I make it um, billable or not? Um, I'm sure there's a way to kind of make that uh, billing go through. So let's go billable amount. Let's go 500 for the heck of it. Never repeats and first bill. Obviously, you guys would do much more in depth, of course. Activity created. Okay, so now we've got some basic stuff inside there. Let's go. I've heard like workflows is supposed to be the biggest thing about everything in here. So let's look at a workflow for monthly bookkeeping. Um, so obviously we can go in and we can adjust the different details on here. So title, review AP, uh, different subtasks. You can add a subtask of um, uh, check uh, off cleared checks. Boom. And I love the fact you can do dependency. That's great. So that way if you have multiple tasks, they have to go in order so you have um, it's it's kind of like a process street kind of a concept where you everything has to go in order which i think that's awesome you can assign the different tasks of course i'm the only person set up into it at the moment um, that's cool due date constraints so days before the project is due budget time Ooh, that's neat hmm okay so we can i'm assuming it's one hour perfect so we can budget one hour so you can kind of see bandwidth i assume is the whole point uh, pay bills, so forth. And now if we come into here, let's go create a project. So new project, monthly bookkeeping, start date, due date, extension. So you're beginning a contract, so forth. Your client, you would pick, boom. We'll go start date was here. Due date by 15th. Um, let's see here, recurring, reviewer. Um, that's nice so manager could review for somebody else doing the work and then different services that you could do so um again i pulled this from just a random file i've got so we'll just go hourly rate for right now boom done i love that though it's nice and easy pull that stuff super clean so you know so far the stuff i'm seeing um interface is really easy to use it's very very simple to kind of walk through all of the the different details here um we can see a calendar view, I'm guessing, of work to be done. Okay, so here's the 15th. We know that's coming up. Five tasks, that's pretty cool. The tasks are still available or have to be done. So I could check them off as well, I assume. Beautiful. Uh, we can go to week view course. And let's see here. Uh, we've got our list view. Uh, which I'm sure you can filter by person as well. Yep, there we go, filtering. Nice, due date, open, assignee. Good amount of filters. Again, nice, clean, easy, understandable system. Then if we go to reports, 
So we'd have our time tracking uh, capacity management. So that's where that time, the amount of time expected. This is, this is huge. This is actually something you don't see in a lot of uh, applications. Um, and it, you know, we all think we can get more done than we actually can. So if you think you're gonna be able to get something done in an hour, you probably should put it for at least an hour and a half. Uh, you know, for me, it's usually a little longer. So this gives you a better idea of capacity, be able to see if people are getting things done efficiency wise, everything else. I think that's really, really neat. Client tasks is cool. So now this tells me, of course, we can assign tasks to clients like give us our statements, give us our check images, that type of stuff if we need it. And then reporting on time tracking. We just did this one for two hours. We'll go view, view details. Boom, please pay me. Nice. Um, so if we go from there, again, our drop down, we've got different client we can create, everything else. Uh, this is a, it's a really interesting full-fledged workflow um, program. A again, I know that they have these templates and they're expanding and adding even more. It looks like, okay, this is neat. You can share templates also. Um, okay, so let's go export templates, see what that does. Very interesting. Go bi-weekly, client onboarding, please. Boom. What I like about this is that means if you take the time to develop a, a workflow, a template, it's not stuck. You can get it back out. Um, that's super, super important. Okay, now, interesting thing is it does come out as a dot fin sense uh, doc or document type. I'm wondering what has to happen for that to be modified. So let's try going import template and let's see here. I was hoping it would give us a, um, there's probably somewhere in the help like a, um, a sample document of some sort. So if we want to create our own, so spots template, spots test run. You'd go through, okay, so now uh, template, what do we wanna do? Client task, I guess. Welcome to new template, so go new task. Let's say it's gonna be doc collection. Doop, doop, doop. And we'll go save. Um, okay, now if I come back, click onto this, now we can do collect all docs. Uh, we'll do subtask, we'll go Bank of America. Add, let's go chase, boom. Um, so you're building everything out, add an attachment, so forth. Uh, looks like in here we can do hyperlinks so you could add in all kinds of text description of what exactly is supposed to be done, which is great. Uh, we've got this added on. And once we're done here, um, we will do budget time like we said before. So let's go 1.5, boom, and saves it on. Then our next task would be data entry. And then we'll stop from there, basically. So you, you basically keep building this stuff out the way you need to. Um, export tasks. I just like to see what we're getting. There we go. So we get a CSV on this one, which is nice. Assign a client, assign agents. So you've got that um, ability to have different levels. So all in all, if I had to say, um, I am actually pretty impressed with the way this application looks. Financial Sense seems like, uh, just for a quick unboxing, it's a very easy display to work with. It looks clean. It was easy to get into it. They've got a good trial period. Pricing isn't bad on it as well. So. I would definitely, I look forward to learning more about this. I'll be interested to see if they reach out to me tomorrow. You know, it's one of those things where as soon as you log in, um, people are hitting you up uh, with your email, everything else right away. So maybe I'll add that to the end of the video as well. But um, yeah, I think Financial Sense is a pretty interesting application. I definitely am gonna look into it further for our firm, but in the comments below, give us some feedback to what you think. Thanks again for watching and here's wishing you all a very successful week.